Hey, hey, Joe here. Welcome to the Noble Strength Sanctuary. As we continue this month's topic, which is challenges with nobility, I know we're all aware that there are some challenges that are much bigger than others. <laughs> Arguably the one that I think is biggest for all of us to tackle is forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness. We are going to try to take on at least part of it today, and we're going to be successful. We are. Now, I know that sometimes we look at this and we say, I just can't. But we need to think that anything is possible, right? Think about David and Goliath. Nobody thought that David would take on and beat Goliath. But we could take on the Goliath of forgiveness. We're going to start with a story from 1842 France, where a man decided that he didn't want his dog to live anymore, and he rode him out into a center of a lake. And he got to the center of the lake, and the man tossed the dog overboard. Well, the dog was not going to give up easy, just like any animal. He was looking for to sustain his precious life. He swam to the side of the boat, where the man kept pushing the dog back into the water. This happened one too many times where the man was frantically trying to keep the dog off the boat, and yes, the man fell in himself. The man couldn't swim as the story goes, and I think you probably know what happened next. The dog saved him. Now, this story is from 1842. It says, uh, as it was told to me, and I read about it, I'm telling you about it. We don't know what happened after that. But we do know that an incredible act took place. This dog was able to forgive the man enough to save his life after he tried to end his. Amazing story. How did the dog do it? Well, that's what we're going to focus on. Because you see... When we hold a grudge in our hearts, the word that rhymes with grudge is sludge. Sludge holds our heart down. It makes us almost in paralysis. We can do nothing, let alone forgive. We, and we have that grudge in our heart, that sludge weighs us down to all good we can do. I know a thing or two about sludge because I deal with cholesterol <laughs> and a, a separate topic, but it is almost the same thing. That sludge really does our body and soul no good whatsoever. I remember giving a talk to young children once about overcoming sin and doing things wrong in their life, and I explained to them that it's like taking a super soaker and taking the, the mud off of your body. That's what, you know, cleansing ourselves is all about. And that's what we need to do as well. We need to have that picture in our mind. And that's what the dog was able to do. The dog was able to clean that sludge out of his heart so he could not only get over the grudge and offer forgiveness to this horrible individual's act, but the dog could go on and live a, a, a powerful life after that. And that's the vision we need for our own mind. Our own mind needs to be able to rid ourselves of that sludge and move on. Yes, move forward. Now, I know this is a, a tough subject, as I said at the outset, and the story I told you is, is a pretty powerful one, isn't it? It's probably the one where if we were in the situation of the dog, the challenge would grow exponentially to a point where we'd have to say, hey, this is really difficult. And I know it is. So what I ask you to do, again, we're going to do some homework this week, and we're going to think about those little situations. Little situations, yeah, because they're going to come up, aren't they? Where we need to offer forgiveness. Is it that person that cut you off on the road? Is it that person that cut in front of you on the line? Is it that person who made a snide comment to you or to a loved one? Take it on. Take it on and remove the sludge from your heart. Therefore, the grudge will go away. You'll be able to make advancements in your journey of forgiveness. And most of all, 
you'll be able to return to the powerful and peaceful life that we are all intended to live. Let's give it a try. We uh, certainly should. After all, like I said, David took on Goliath, so we could take this on too. And this dog's story should motivate all of us to a higher level. Thank you so much for always following along at noblestrength.life. Please share with your friends and family. As I always say, we're looking to expand our sanctuary as far and wide as we can. We want to become the biggest church out there, helping people with their spiritual journey and having a deeper love and respect for all creation. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.